Good evening, everybody. Good Welcome evening, back. Everyone. Welcome back to which midnight. Is midnight margaritas. That's right. <laughs> We're switching up our drinks today. I'm just drinking water. I've just got Pepsi. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight, it's all about hex your ex. Why would you want to hex your ex? Why would you want to hex your ex? Because it was an asshole. <laughs> There is nothing wrong, in my humble opinion, of taking charge of a situation. And I would use this specifically if they cheated on you. Yeah, maybe he was just screwing around on you or something. Yeah. yeah. He's an asshole. Yeah. Well, <laughs> asshole. Um, as always, we like to say, leave a way out for them if they correct their behavior. But let's just say, once a cheater, always a cheater. And if yeah. someone cheats on you, go. Yeah, Don't stick away. around. Yeah, go away. So if you are hexing a male, you're going to want a cucumber, mm -hmm. phallic symbol. This is their penis, dick, Johnson, yeah, exactly. whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever everyone's calling it these days. <laughs> you want to cut it in half and kind of gut it. Gut it out. I don't know if you can tell that, but yeah. See in there. We took yep. them all out. Now these are just mini cucumbers. Yeah. If your dude only had a gherkin, use a gherkin. Use a pickle. <laughs> if your dude was long in English, feel f you could do that too. Yeah, you could do a big one. <laughs> but a mini cucumber is just fine. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is get get yourself the cucumber, gut it out so you can fill it with stuff. So we're basically cursing their junk yeah. <clears throat> because it doesn't need to work anymore. No. It should burn when they pee. Yeah. I guess they shouldn't have cheated. I guess so. Yeah. So we're going to put a few things in it. Yeah. And yeah. let her take over. <laughs> we're going to put a bit of graveyard dirt in it because we want it to be dead. Dead and floppy. <laughs> dead and floppy. So. <laughs> yeah. Dead and floppy. Dead you know what else floppy. would be funny is if you had like two kiwis and you just smashed them, like smashed his balls. I probably take way too much joy in things like this. <laughs> so that's the graveyard. We, we figured we would put some something really hot in it, just so when they pee, it burns. Yeah, it should burn yeah, when you pee. It should for burn. sure. So we we're thinking a little bit of. Chili peppers. Red pepper flakes. Red pepper flakes. Chili. Yeah, whatever. Very good. Same thing. <laughs> Helps you burn when you pee. And I'm going to add one more as well. Um, I'm going to put a bit of cayenne pepper in there too. Just for extra measure. Extra measure. Now, if you're uh, doing this to your ex, um, you're going to want to put some emotion into this. Yeah. And clearly, if you're doing it, you're emotional. Exactly. But I'd be like, you know, I really fucking hate what you did to me here. You don't deserve to have me, never mind no. working junk. That's right. Um, put your emotion into it. You can write a, write a poem for it or whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter. But now this is what it looks like. It's full of graveyard dirt, red pepper flakes, and cayenne pepper. Yeah. So then we're going to put that together and we're going to tie it. You're going to bind it up? Bind it up. Now, if you had a condom, you could use that for binding. Yeah. Which that's what they're made for, right? Exactly. So it would be perfect. So. We just didn't seem to have any in the house today. So we're just gonna wrap it up. Yeah, just wrap it up. You can put their picture in there, their name in there. Yeah, you should put, if you're doing it for someone, you probably should put their name in it. Yeah. Maybe even their birth date, or for picture, if you have a picture, use that. Some of their semen. Yeah, that too. Yeah. If you had a used condom with their semen in it, that would be perfect, perfect for this. Yeah. Is that also gross? Yeah, but. It is, but. Sometimes yeah. things are gross. That's right. Yeah, because having somebody's piece of them and DNA is always best to have in things like this. I just don't want to see that. Tips off here. And so, <laughs> not very 
that's good. that. And then where you're gonna to wanna to bury this is in a crossroads. Not a graveyard, because mm -hmm. we already put graveyard dirt in there. Yeah. But if you put it in a crossroads, that's further torment. The demons can take care of them. Exactly, because that's where they are and they Even, can take care of them. And this is biodegradable. So you can just drive along and toss it in a crossroads, it's fine. Yeah. Whatever happens to this is happening to your ex's junk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So he's being haunted at the same time if you put it on a crossroads. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And good for him. Maybe he should do better next time. Um, if you if you buy like long English cucumbers, because they always come wrapped like this, you could let it rot and do the same thing. Yeah. Because it's like it's in its own contained package. And, exactly. and when they're rotted, yeah. it's like his dick rotting off. Exactly. Right? So why not? So you could do that too. Yeah. And I know things can get expensive. It's just, you know... That's, that's the price of hexing, I guess. Exactly. So, yeah, these ones aren't so bad because you get a bunch in a package. Yeah. And, and you can eat the rest. But. Yeah. And the difference between hexing and cursing is a hex will eventually wear off. Mm -hmm. You don't have to stop it or anything. It's going to eventually wear yeah. off. Exactly. A curse has to be broken. Yeah. So, hexing in this way, like, I hope it burns when you pee. I hope you can't get it up. Yep. Yeah. I hope it shrinks. I hope whatever you yeah. get gonorrhea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, or that. <laughs> yeah, anything like that. Anything like that. Yeah, but what if your ex is a girl? We got you covered. Yeah. Yeah, we got you covered. So we got a taco shell here. Well, a soft, soft tortilla. A soft tortilla. Taco. You, you could use a hard shell, definitely. Yeah. So it looks like a taco. Yeah. So it looks like a taco, and you're gonna want to put the same ingredients into yeah. that. You know, so you're wanna, gonna gonna wanna put your uh, graveyard dirt graveyard dirt so that your vagina's dry and dusty. <laughs> That's funny to say out loud. <laughs> and then you're gonna wanna put your red pepper flakes. Yeah. Hope you get a urinary tract infection, you know, stuff like that. And then the same the same deal with it. You just Put the stuff in, fold it over for a taco, right? And then you can bind it with toothpicks just to kind of yeah, you can bind the piss flaps together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And again, it's biodegradable. As you're driving along, toss it at a crossroads. Probably don't want anyone to see you doing that, though. And by the way, if birds eat it, it's not a big deal because birds don't feel hot pepper. They don't. So, we got this nasty little taco here. Somebody's dirty burning cooch. <laughs> and then you're just gonna fold it over. Taco. Fur taco, right? And then, can you wanna grab the, um, yeah. And then we'll just show them how to do that. You could bind this up, but to keep it in like a taco shape, right? This is what you're gonna wanna do. Just kind of thread it through. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just to close it. Just to close it. Just to close her snatch up so that she's not out there. Plus, it's a little bit uncomfortable to have toothpicks there. Yeah, in your in your flaps. Yeah. <laughs> so you're kind of and again stabbing them with that too. Yeah, and again, say how you feel, like that's you cheated. Right. That's yeah. That's ignorant. Unacceptable. How, how dare you? And especially closing off a snatch like that, it's like, I hope you can't get any for a while. Like, yeah. I hope it stops working. Yeah, because it's closed up, it, you can't, they can't enter. Yeah, getting all dry and dusty. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So, uh, that is one way you can hex your ex, especially if they cheated. Exactly. This is definitely for cheating. I can't imagine, if someone beats the shit out of you, that's a difference. That's, a, that's different, a curse. That's a curse. That's yeah. a curse. But you got They're your... Cheating. Yeah, this I, is the way to go. I'll just show you we threaded through the things through the piss flaps there. Little handy dandy taco and mm. cucumber. And then just go feed the birds. There you go. Toss them out the window at a crossroads. Yeah. It'll wear off eventually, but hopefully they'll learn their lesson. And if not, just do it again. Do it again. They keep doing it. Yeah. Be relentless. And maybe <laughs> Nightmare Jar or something. Yeah, that yeah. too. You can do that for yeah. sure. <laughs> but anyways, 
that's what we got for you today. There you go. Thank you so much to um, all the people that have been coming and watching our videos and our new subscribers. We really do appreciate everybody that watches. I'm digging the comments coming from the religious fanatics. Yes. I think that's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Of course we get those too, right? We're always going to, but the, it's funny to me because it's helping the algorithm. I know, exactly. Yeah. So, Whatevs. Okay, Whatever. Go ahead. Yeah. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And uh, we'll be back again tomorrow with some riveting Something. content. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, got my water. Stay like magical. Pepsi. Stay magical. <laughs> Ten minutes, that's perfect. <laughs>